What's going on everybody? Down here at the river, I want y'all to take a look at it. Look how high this river is. We've been getting a ton of rain here in Central Florida, finally, because the river's been low a long time. So it's usually what we put in, do the frog gigging, or I'm putting in, getting on some of them big bluegill. Ain't gonna be no fish in the day, no sir. We got some traps ready to go in the water. We're gonna see if we can catch some crawfish. Let's go. Hey y'all check this out. We're going in with some chicken necks right here today. And some of y'all recommended some of that beef liver. So we got that stuff's expensive too. $7.62 for some beef liver. Them crawfish eating fancy. But, and we got a can of cat food. Somebody said take some cat food, poke some holes in it. We're gonna give that a try. We've tried cat food before. But for now, we're about to go in some of these old chicken necks. So we just got these little old two piece traps here. We're gonna drop some food right on in there for them. We wanna load them up good. We don't wanna be bashful. And then we're gonna take some string, tie that together, and hopefully that's gonna catch us some dinner. We hope. We're gonna tie this thing up good and tight. We don't need it coming apart. Any little old knot to do. Then we'll just take us some string. That way we got a hand line. We can sling that thing on out there. I don't think we got to be too far. Well, that river's up pretty good. Come on. Trap number one, ready to go. Now the question is, where do we want to set it? We got a lot of water rushed in here. Boat ramp high here. And uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty high all down through there. We got unlimited options. Question is, where do you want to throw it? I think we should put it over there somewhere. She wants to put it over there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, all right, let's, let's put it over there. <laughs> Give her a good tossing. Oh. Ah, look at that. Woo, how many y'all think we're gonna get in that one? I'm hoping a pile of them. We shall see. But for now, we about to move on to the next box. water on the property she's having a hard time hanging on back there what's going on with that i don't know <laughs> all over the place spiders hey we're at the next location look y'all check out how high the water is over this way i mean it's just water everywhere i'm usually fishing way on down there by all them cypress knees sticking up but ain't gonna be no fishing for quite a while we about to bait up this trap here I don't know where we're going to put this one. You see any place you might want to put this one? You no, got... you're putting this one out. <laughs> Apparently I got to put this one out. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to have to tread some water to get this trap out. So we'll figure it out here in a minute. I think we're going to use the canned cat food right here on this one. What we got? We got ocean whitefish and tuna dinner come on does that not sound tasty man if i was a crawfish i would eat it look at the size of that skeeter on my nose you see him right is that not a big old skeeter <laughs> golly holy cow 
Uh, we tried this before, but last time we opened the can up and set it in there. Yeah, we ain't doing that this time. That was messy. Should have known better. We're just going to poke some holes in it. Set it right on in there. Put it together. These traps are relatively easy and quick and easy to set up. Snap them together like that. They usually got a little clip for them, like this one. But, I don't know where they're at. There we go. Now we gotta find a place to put it. Catch a lot of bluegill brim, catfish, all in this area right here. This is a good, good fishing area. God, I leave a lot of water. But it ain't that deep on the edge right here. I think it's gonna make a good little spot with the cat food. We're gonna find out. It might be a little bit deeper right here, being the being the water's up. We're gonna let it soak, come back and check it in the morning, see what we got. Easy, baby, easy. <laughs> So we made it to our last spot. We're gonna set the trap. I only got three traps. I need to get some more for sure. But this spot right here holds a lot of crawfish certain times of the year. Hopefully this is one of those times when it's gonna hold some. But we put a trap here before. We used the cat food and caught this. So we got these alien looking bugs in there that we caught. Y'all see that? Is anybody? Look, there's some more right there. You see them in the back. Come to find out, that was a gigantic water bug. At least that's what all the comments said. That was a big water bug and he looked ferocious. I definitely wouldn't want to get my toes bit by him. So we're going to get the trap set up here. Put some beef liver in it. See what we catch. And mosquitoes, bad, bad. That's about the fifth time Stephanie's done sprayed down. I don't blame her. We're just going to put the whole piece in there. <laughs> We're just gonna put it all in there. One big old chunk. If that don't draw them in, I don't know what will. Beautiful. Woo, that's a little deeper than I thought right <laughs> Baby, come on, be something in this trap. Maybe? This the one with the cat food. The one we got. Oh, we do got crawfish. We got two of them in there. All right. We got a spider web right there. Two crawfish in the trap. We got that one right there. He's a... Uh, Eh, I mean, you could eat him, but you'd have to have a pile of them. But hey, I'm pleasantly surprised about that right there. Not a bad little crawfish. Not bad at all. That ain't enough to eat, I can tell you that. Get on back out there. Where's that other one at? <laughs> little old bitty guy right there. <laughs> Hey, that right there, that makes some good bait, though. I'm telling you right now, that makes some fine bait. But, hey, got to get on back. Can't eat two. At least not that last one, anyway. So, the old cat food did come through.
definitely a big difference in the water level from when we was here um yesterday because that water was well it was it was up there at least i mean that's it's it's dropping out pretty good so i like that that's pretty fast actually for it to be be falling it usually don't fall out that quick so i don't think they've been getting a whole lot of rain north of us where the river actually dumps out so that would explain that come on baby be some more crawl daddies in the trap i think this is the one we had the chicken necks in and we got we got absolutely nothing on the chicken necks and i could have swore i put more than two in there but we don't have no groceries no groceries in this one except for some leftover chicken necks we ain't eating that and i gotta beat this rain i can hear it rumbling in the background Woo. And them mosquitoes are rough. Good Lord. Get out of here. Well, it don't look like I beat the rain because it is officially raining. I'm getting soaked. So I'm going to try and get through this last trap real quick. Get on back up to the truck. Hopefully we got some crawfish in this one. But I don't know. I'll be honest with you. I don't even see the line. We put the line right there and it's gone. So looks like something happened to the trap. That would be very interesting to find out because I'd like to have that trap back. That's the stump we tied to right there. You got that one and that one, but that line was right here. Now the mystery begins of what happened to my trap. I guess I'll have to figure that one out later. Right now I'm about to get back up to the truck. That's something gonna probably have a lot of crawfish in it too. Dag gum it, man. Ugh. Hey, just cause we didn't catch but a couple crawfish don't mean we ain't about to eat some crawfish. I guarantee you that. We got the old can cooker out here. We're doing something a little different. We ain't doing the average boil that you see all over YouTube and TikTok, Facebook. We're about to do a can cooker boil, if you will. And it works perfectly fine. We're just gonna throw a little water in there. Don't take a whole lot of water. About yay much on the bottom. Get some Creole seasoning. You can get some crab boil crawfish boil season, whatever seasoning you want. It's just some regular old Creole season. We're going to dump a little bit in there. That's just going to help infuse some flavor. Then you get some of that shrimp and crab boil liquid. The liquid shrimp and crab boil. That don't take a whole lot. Look, we got red, we got old red taters right there. We're gonna pile them in there on the bottom. Get them taters in there, man. We got some fresh ears of corn. We don't got the frozen stuff. Those are fresh ears right there, split in half. We're gonna dump them on in there. We got some onions, as they call them on TV, some onions, some mushrooms, and more baby bellas. And then we got some good smoked andouille sausage. We're going in with one last thing, and y'all asked for it. Some hot dog. Now we're gonna get this thing fired up and we're gonna get them crawfish to cooking. But while we're doing that, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna season that old Creole season. Just dump that stuff right on in there. Back in with some water, a little bit more of that liquid crab bowl and hit it up some more of that good Creole seasoning. Hey, that pot's ready to go. We about to hit it up with this crawfish. Yes, it is bad crawfish, but it is product of Louisiana right there. It is Louisiana crawfish. So y'all don't be hating on me in the comments. Get on in there. 
And there you have it, can cooker, crawfish, boil or steam, whatever you want to call it. But that's exactly what it is. And we about to see what these crawfish are hitting on. Just twist that out of there. Hey, there's a little bit of juice in them heads. Oh yeah, there's some flavor in there, so if your crawfish peel and it come right out pretty easy like that one right there, that's when you know they're done right. Now we're about to hit it with that butter. Go in with that little dipping butter. Look at that drip. Mmm. Yep, can't tell the tail at the bottom and pull that meat right out. Look at that, that's a nice chunk of meat right there. Some people say that's a lot of work for a little bit of meat. Well, I don't mind doing the work because that's some good meat. That's all I got for you on this video. Thank each and every one of you for hanging around with me, checking them crawfish traps. Me and Stephanie had fun setting those crawfish traps. A lot of water out on the property as you saw. Only got a few crawfish. I was just proud to get some. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Share it if you want to. Helps me out. Thank each and every one of you. I really appreciate you a whole, whole lot. Till next time, y'all take care. Try out this recipe. And we'll see you on the next one.